Hello 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 everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to expand the storage on our Amazon Fire TV stick. As you already know, the Fire TV stick is a great device, but many people complain about the storage capacity it has, which is usually low. As you can see, the device has neither microSD slot nor USB port to expand the storage either with pen drive or card. So, although it is not possible as standard, in this video we are going to learn how to do it to be able to put files such as photos and videos, as well as install applications. The first thing we are going to need is a USB device or pen drive like the one you are seeing right now. You can get one that you have at home, in this case I have taken this SanDisk with 32GB, and super important, what you have to keep in mind is that it has to be formatted in FAT32. And secondly, we're going to use this OTG cable. With this cable what we are going to get is to have a USB input on our Fire TV stick. To do this, we're simply going to connect this tip to the Fire TV stick device, there it is, and on the other side we'll have two inputs. One to connect the Fire TV stick to the power supply via micro USB, and on the other side we'll have a USB input, where we'll connect the flash drive. In this case, this particular cable I bought it on Amazon, it cost me 10 euros and as always, I leave the description below in case you want to buy one, because the truth is that it has worked super well. And once assembled, this would look like this. Now, the only thing left to do would be to connect the micro USB power here to this port, and then connect the Fire TV stick via HDMI to the TV. So let's plug it in and go through the process. Okay, so once we have everything connected, we can turn on the Fire TV stick and start the process. As I said before, we are going to have two ways to use the USB storage that we have connected. The first will be to play external files such as music, photos or videos, and the second to install Fire TV stick applications. The first thing I'm going to show you is the playback of external files. To do this, I have previously put a video of mine from my channel that I downloaded and we will play it. For this, the only thing we have to do is to download any type of external player, such as VLC, which is the one I recommend the most. As you can see, once we enter, VLC detects the USB, we are going to give it to yes we want to add it, and as we will see down here in exploring, we have the internal memory folder and the SanDisk USB folder. If we enter inside, we have different folders and below the video that we have put previously. If we click on it, as you can see, it plays without any problem. So, as you can see, we can play any type of external content from the USB. Now, having seen this, let's go to the other part, which is to install applications, which is a little bit more difficult. The first thing we have to do is go to the settings, enter the My Fire TV section and click where it says USB drive. As you can see, we are given two options, safely eject the USB drive or format it to internal storage, which is the one we are interested in. As you can see, on the right we have a small explanation where it tells us select this option if you want the Fire TV to use the apps stored on this USB drive. Once the formatting is done, this USB drive can only be used with this Fire TV. All content on this USB drive will be deleted during the formatting process. What does this mean? It's very easy. First of all, the whole USB drive will be erased, that is, all the content will be deleted. And second, that once formatted to be able to install applications, that USB we will not be able to use it for absolutely nothing else, only to install the Fire TV stick applications. But not only that, it will only work in our Fire TV stick, in no other. So once we are clear about this, we click where it says Format to Internal Storage. As you can see, we get a window where it tells us that it is already formatting the USB drive and we will have to wait a few minutes, depending on the type of USB we have and its capacity. Once the process is finished, the Fire TV returns to the main menu and if we return to the option My Fire TV, USB Drive, we will see how this option has changed from format to internal storage to what now says format to external storage, so the unit is already formatted for the installation of applications.
And now, unfortunately, comes part two. And is that not all applications Fire TV gives us the option to move them to the external USB drive? I do not know why this happens, or if it will always be like this, but I have tried many applications and virtually none has given me the option to install on the external USB, but all are directly installed in the memory of the Fire TV stick and from there we cannot move them. In this case, I have installed several applications and if we go to settings, apps, and go to manage installed apps, as you can see, we get both system storage, we have them there, the internal and external, which is also to install applications, but if we go to the list of applications, it is not clear whether or not there is any installed on the USB storage, as it does not say absolutely nothing. The only thing we can know is, by clicking on the applications, whether or not we can transfer them to the external storage. For example, Pluto TV. We click on it, nothing comes out. It means that we cannot transfer it. We go, for example, to Atris Player. We click on it, it doesn't let us either. For example, I have found that the VLC application, if we click on it, as you can see, we do have the option to transfer to USB storage, so it would not take up space on the internal memory of the Fire TV. In this particular case, if we want to transfer the application, we simply click here and as you can see, we get a message telling us to wait and that the application will be transferred to the external USB device. Once finished, as you can see, we have again to reverse here in this option and pass backwards from external storage to internal, and if we return to the previous list, as you can see, next to VLC has appeared a small symbol of a pen drive to indicate that the application we have installed on the external USB storage. Well guys, this is as far as the video goes. As you can see, we have two different options to use an external USB storage on our Fire TV stick. In this case, the ability to play content externally as movies, music or photos works perfectly and we can play any type of content without the need, for example, to have internet. Simply by putting it on the USB we can play it from, for example, VLC. And on the other hand, the issue of using the USB as internal storage for the installation of applications, which I think is quite improvable, apart from that I imagine that the Fire TV stick is not prepared, since we have to use external cables and media that are not of origin to do this. I think it is not quite ready and that this option is still very improvable and that there are things that cannot be done, as you have seen, that not all applications will be able to move them to external storage. But well, any that we have and that we can, because that is going to free up internal memory. As always, if it has been useful, do not forget to leave me a good like, which is super important, as well as subscribe to the channel and give the little bell to not miss anything. I for my part, nothing more, as always, a pleasure and until the next video.